If you are traveling to Tanzania in 2021 or 2022, here are some of the rules and the requirements that you have to keep in mind. Whether you are vaccinated or not, you are required to present negative results of a PCR test before traveling to Tanzania and make sure before you leave to the airport that you do have results of your test in hand. It's not possible to board the airplane or check in if you don't have your results. Now, some airports do provide PCR tests with a quick turnaround time, 24 hours, sometimes five hours, sometimes less, but I don't recommend re relying on that. So make sure before you head to the airport that you do have your results in hand and the piece of paper or document that has your negative PCR test results should have your first name, your last name, your date, and obviously the result as negative. Before you travel or you get to Tanzania, 24 hours before your arrival to Tanzania, you are required to fill a traveler surveillance form. And this form will have some information about you, about your trip, when are you entering in Tanzania, when are you leaving, are you experiencing any symptoms and so on. And it's mandatory that you have that phone with you. I will leave the link in the description box so that you can fill it online before you travel to Tanzania. Now, once you arrive in Tanzania at the airport of Tanzania, you are going to go through a health check. They will check your temperature. And then there's also a rapid test that is mandatory at the airport. But before you get to the airport, you can pay for your rapid test. I will also leave the link in the description box and it's $10 per person. So you pay the $10 online and then they will give you a receipt in a PDF format with a QR code. And once you land at the airport, when they check your temperature, they are going to ask you for the QR code. So I do suggest that you create a folder on your phone where you can have all of your documents handy. This way, whenever an officer or a health officer is asking you for a document, you can show it immediately. Uh, also, when we were in the airplane, we were handed an additional form to fill manually. And so if I remember correctly, they collected the forms before we, we landed at uh, Kilimanjaro airport. If not, you just want to make sure that you have that form uh, handy as well. You get to the airport and then you go through the rapid test. You pretty much just go to uh, small stands, you get tested, and then you wait for a couple of minutes. Your results are going to come out immediately. And then they will give you a piece of paper with your first name, last name, the date, and then the results of your test. And then from there, you can go to the next steps. Now, to enter Tanzania, uh, for many any nationalities, a visa is required upon arrival. So there are two ways you can do this. You can either apply for a visa once you get to the airport. So you just go to the line and then wait in there, provide the necessary documents, and then you pay for the, the visa application and then you obtain your approval right there. Or if you want to save all of this time that goes into obtaining a visa, you can apply for an e-visa even before traveling. And this is exactly what we did. And I felt like it saved us a lot of time. I will also leave the link in the description box with where you can apply for an e-visa. Just be careful that you are using the correct link. So you go to the link and then you start your e-visa application. They are going to ask you to attach some documents like your passport information, your return ticket. They are going to ask you for a photo of you with a white background which you can pretty much just take on your own and if you have any questions about how to apply for the e-visa online let me know and I can make a short video about that so you get the application submitted and then within 24 hours to 48 hours they are going to send you an email back with your approval and then you just want to make sure that you have that PDF document saved in your phone so that you can show it to the officers. So once you have your visa, you show it to the officers and that's what they are going to use to stamp your passport. They are going to ask you a couple of questions and then they are going to take some of your fingerprints approve you and then you will be clear to enter the beautiful country of Tanzania and start your adventure. Hope you guys found this video to be useful and if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more guides and how-to videos about our time in Tanzania climbing Mount Kilimanjaro, safari and enjoying the beautiful island of Zanzibar. My name is Habiba, this is Trekking Pals and I will see you very soon on a new adventure.